Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, yeah, instead of narration, you're actually hearing me live. I already have my colors out for today. It's uh, the dark reddish umber, dark green, um, pastel yellow, and kind of this barn blue. Um, and today I already have the colors out because I was working on another painting. What I want to do today is try to do kind of a square, a painting full of squares. I'm going to be using these foam brushes, so that's what we're working with today. I know that normally I do my scrape paintings, but right now I'm just kind of not in the mood. Um, so we'll start with the lightest color here, and I'll go ahead and just, I'm just going to drip some onto the canvas. We're not going to use a whole lot. Of paint so I'm gonna use a little bit and then if I need more I'll go ahead and add a little more but we'll start with a little bit and I want to do some bigger squares so I'll probably start with this really big um, foam brush and, uh, and we'll just get to it so I'm gonna go ahead and cover the corners and one one reason I want to use these foam brushes uh, for this painting is one they've got this this nice sharp edge, uh, but two, it's going to disperse the paint really well. So it's going to make the paint dry really fast. So I might actually be able to do the whole painting in one go uh, without having to wait. So the other video, if you haven't seen it or if I haven't posted it yet, the other video is these same colors, but instead I'm actually scraping with the scraper. And the only problem, it's, there's no problem with it, but the uh, the issue is that it, because it uses so much more paint, it takes forever to dry. So um, I had to like stop doing that video and kind of wait. So my hope is that I can do this whole painting in one go and then go back to that other one and finish that too. So we'll go ahead and do these kind of little, We'll do these larger squares here um, and kind of build these out. I don't know why I do. I, I like, I guess I just like lines and squares if you haven't noticed. Um, I like scrape paintings because I, I can see the movement, but they're also structured. And for me, I know that abstract is like, abstract is abstract, right? It's whatever you want it to be. But at the same time, part of me can't help but but structure them in some way. Um, I think we all kind of crave structure, whether we like to admit it or not. And for me, even in doing these abstract paintings, I, I still find myself trying to put some kind of structure into these paintings um, so they're not just I'm not just winging it. There's a there's some kind of underlying I don't know form to it, I guess. So that's just me. All right, so pretty good shape on that one. I, I don't care that they're not perfect, but I mean I I want them to be quite obviously squares. So um, so that's what we're going here, going for here. Uh, we'll go ahead and knock out this bad boy. I think I'll make this one a little bit bigger. Um, I do want them kind of a certain size. Not a specific size, but I want them to, to take up almost to a third, but not quite a third because I'm using four colors. So if I just did thirds, I'd only be able to probably put three colors, um, roughly about the same size. And I want to be able to do uh, more than just well, obviously I have four colors, so I want to be able to fit all four colors onto the painting. So we'll go ahead and push this out. I think I'll make it, yeah, probably about that big. And we'll go ahead and burn up the rest of the paint on the brush. So I'll go ahead and try to frame out these little squares. I apologize if you can't see it. So we'll go ahead and go over it a couple times. Uh, use up some of the paint, fill in any of the little the gaps that the paintbrush might be leaving, 
and really give it a uniform kind of, uh, you know, look and feel. And also, going over it a couple times gives it a couple different, like, layers. Because, I mean, obviously if this is dry and then I go over it again, it's gonna, it's gonna darken whatever the color is. So, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably leave this here. It's gonna dry out, unfortunately, but the brushes are like $5, so it's not, it's not a super big deal. Um, so what we'll probably do is go ahead and we'll go light to dark. Um, we'll do green next. I'll do the green square here, probably a little bit of overlap, and then probably here. And then we'll probably just do this little corner right there in green. So we'll give it some balance. So we'll move on to our next brush here. Kind of start pulling it out. And we want it to be, again, a certain size. I kind of want it to meet the edges of the of these other squares, and if it overlaps a little bit, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, we'll do that and give it a little more a little more volume over here, and pull this out. So pull it out, come over here, come over here. Here we go. We got a little bit of overlap, but not too much. And we'll start framing it out. Framing it out. Framing that out. And framing, framing that out right there. So that's pretty good. And we'll pull that across. And down. All right, cool. So I'll pull this bad boy. I'll go ahead and pull it all the way to the edges. And don't know if I want to do an overlapping square. No, it's pretty close to it. So I'll just go ahead and we'll just pull this one. We'll just make it slightly smaller than the yellow one. So we'll go ahead and just overlap it. And frame it out. And pull it along and frame it, frame it, and pull it over. And now we've got almost a perfect square on those two sides. It's a little, a little beyond it here, but that's fine. Gives it a little character. Actually, we'll use a little bit of that paint to kind of fill this in and this is what I'm talking about like I can't if it's if I feel like it's too unstructured it'll it'll bother me now that's not to say I haven't made paintings that were 100% structured every time but uh, if I can put some in there I do I do try all right so we'll go ahead and pull this one out I'll probably make this one a little bit bigger actually so we'll pull it to here, and then I'll do an overlapping square there. So let's frame it out to here, so it's not as long as the yellow one. It is longer than the yellow, so it's longer. We'll make it a little bit longer than this one, but not as long as that one, so it's, almost, it's more rectangular than it is square. So we'll go ahead and pull that out, and fill it in. And there we go, there we go. So kind of fill that in, fill it in. All right, and then we'll just kind of run the paint over a few times. This will help it kind of dry. All right, that'll dry. Okay, so we're good there. All right, so now we'll go ahead and do um, Go ahead and do the blue. I feel like the red is darker than the blue, so it's probably going to take longer to dry. 
So I'll probably do a blue right in the middle and then probably here on this corner and I'll just make them bigger than kind of the other ones that are going on. So we'll actually go ahead and pull this out quite a ways. Um, and then we'll pull it out here quite a ways and then we'll overlap them. So actually we'll do, we'll do a pretty big blue one right here in the middle. <clears throat> just to kind of almost to connect these these other um, these other squares here. So we'll do that. Go over right here. We'll frame it out. And I kind of like this, uh, like this uh, kind of brush stroke look that it's got. So I might kind of leave that. I don't know if I'll do it. I won't do it in all directions, but I'll kind of do it back and forth. So I'll probably pull this out a little bit to kind of match the length. And there we go. That's pretty good. I like it. All right, so then we'll go ahead and... Man, this is killing my back, I'm not going to lie. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull this one. Uh, we'll pull this one out. We'll make this... And we'll go ahead and make this one as big as this gap here. So we'll fill that in. And we'll pull it out. I think it's probably moved a little bit, so pull that back. We'll go ahead and fill this in. And I'm going to overlap the green. Just... Yeah, well... Maybe I'll make it even bigger because I've got some gaps here. Um, and if I do red all the way around, that's going to fill in. That's going to need a lot of red. So maybe what I'll do is, hmm, curiouser and curiouser. All right. We'll go ahead and pull out the blue one here, and then I think I'll do a small blue one here. So we'll go ahead and I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just go big on this one. We'll just go ahead and knock that out. Probably go ahead and okay. So that'll help fill in that area, and then here, let's do a little bitty guy. And actually, kind of like that, that brush look that it's putting off. So I'll go ahead and leave it. All right, so now we've got the red. Uh, the only problem is, is that now that I've got those down, I've got some gaps that are kind of drying. So that's still wet and that is still wet because I just did it. And that is still wet. So unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot. I've got this gap over here. Might be able to do something with that. But the blue being wet is going to be kind of an issue. So, 
and my other painting is still wet. So there's no women here. Uh, I may have to actually just cut it short and finish it later. Mm. Yep, that is what I will have to do. Unless, I'll just blow on it, that'll work right. Actually, that's pretty dry, so I think we'll be okay. What I'll do is I'll start on this, since this is the driest. So we'll go ahead and do a red square there. And then this is where the next screw square will go and then there and then I guess I could fill that in with red so I think we'll be okay so we'll go ahead and we'll do it over the dry parts first for sure just just because okay so we'll go ahead and frame it and what I like to do with these what I like to do with square paintings is overlap uh, corners just because, I mean, it, it kind of ties in the, the pieces. So like if I can overlap the corners, then I will. And actually, this is, this is I, I, I really like the way that this is turning out, actually. So we'll go ahead and throw a little bit, just a couple drops more on there. And we'll go ahead and fill that in. Well, I guess I could have used a little more. Now we'll be alright. I'll just frame it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright. Okay. So, we're good there. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a large square here and then I'll do I'll just go ahead and we'll fill in most of these areas probably with the red so I'll pull that down I'm gonna need more Just gonna do the rest of it. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. Well, he didn't cover all of the. He <laughs> didn't even, didn't even barely fill it in. But I feel like I can't go much bigger than that without it kind of throwing off the whole thing. So um, I'm gonna leave it for now and come back to it. So we'll go ahead and fill this in. I feel like there's a lot of. Wow, how much paint did I put over here? It's a lot. Yeah, that was, that was a lot. Okay, so go ahead and pull, pull this down. Oh man, not too far. Well. Get there. 
I kind of don't want the squares to touch like the colors, the squares are the same color to touch. So I'm actually not going to let these two touch here. And I don't know why she swallowed a fly, but I just, I kind of want the distinct designs of the, of the different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and let it not reach over here. I suppose I could just do another color on top of that. Um, I may do yellow just because since yellow was one of the base ones, doing yellow on top of it kind of gives it almost like a 3D feel just because then you're, you're seeing it both on the bottom and the top. So it kind of gives it uh, almost like a 3D look or feel. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to use up some of this, this paint here. And I think that's good. All right, so I didn't balance this as well as I should have. Um, I say that because I should have done bigger squares, but I can't do any more red. The red is just overpowering. Um, so I cannot do any more red or else that's going to overpower it. Um, I could do a yellow here. Yellow would fill this in. Here all of the colors are present so I don't really have much of a choice on that one. Um, I could do a yellow square here so yellow, yellow, um, I guess yellow again here to kind of fill this in and then yellow here. So I mean, our, our ending color, I suppose, would be our, our starter color is, is our ending color. <laughs> I'm basically trying to say the same thing, right? The ending color is the starting color and vice versa. So what I'm checking is to see basically how dry everything is. So this, like this red is still wet um, and apparently so is this paint on the wood. Um, so I don't want to do this area because that red and that red are still pretty wet. So, uh, I suppose I can do these areas and I'm wondering if it, okay, it's, it's still damp. Perfect. Okay. So we'll go ahead and work on these. We'll do this little guy and this little guy here. All right. And unfortunately, that was actually my biggest brush, so that's fun. All right, so we'll pull it out, and I'm going to need more paint. So... Yeah, unfortunately, using this... Oh, you know what? I have a whole, a whole bin full of brushes, so we'll use a small one to kind of get these little areas here okay so we've got that so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just again we're gonna overlap the pieces oh no that was still wet oh well. all right so we'll go ahead and overlap that Uh, that kind of sucks. All right, so I'll dip it in the paint and we'll pull it out and down. And we'll go ahead and just, we'll just leave that red paint in there. I mean, it's already in there. It's going to be part of the square. It'll also give it a little. Well, it's like a little dynamic, kind 
kind of feel to it. Oh, I should have used a different brush for this. So then we'll, we'll go ahead and pull that down. And this actually kind of became a bigger thing than I wanted it to. And they're pretty close to touching, which I didn't want. So, what do we do? What do we do? Um, so, I don't know. I feel like I don't have much choice. So, I'm going to make this whole thing yellow. I mean, honestly, I feel like I don't, I don't have much of a choice at this point because it's already, they're touching and I've got all these colors and I'm pretty sure I just ruined this painting. So this is why I say you really have to wait for the, you know, the paint to dry before you try to move on because then this stuff starts to happen where it mixes and then it, it ruins the piece. So, I mean, yeah, it's, and now my glove is sticking, so that's even better. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, to me, this piece is, is ruined now. Um, I mean, I could try to salvage it with the, with the color, using the same color over and over again, but I think that's only going to make the problem worse because you'll you'll already see this beige underneath so you're gonna see that um there's not really any way around it and if i go here and here i mean i'm gonna run into the same thing right what i could have done was really i just could have made a tiny square with a tiny brush over these areas and then just kind of called it, right? I could have just done that. And I probably should have, but you don't always think of everything while you're doing it, right? And then here, same thing. Could have just made a little square here. Um, but now I'm gonna get into the red and probably pull that red. Yeah, there it is, pulled it. So, honestly, I mean, it's done. I hate this painting. <laughs> um, it's like you come to a point where you just know it's it's done, right? It, there's no there's no real salvaging um, certain pieces, especially after a certain point. Um, and this is just one of those times. I mean, I should have, I should have waited for the paint to dry fully. I was trying to rush to film it and I was impatient. And this, you know, this is kind of the, the price that you pay when you're impatient. So, I mean, maybe it's a good lesson for, for both of us. Just, uh, you know, that's what happens when you try to achieve a result and and you're not patient. So I almost had it. I had a decent painting, but I mean, honestly, I, this isn't, these are fun to do, but this isn't the type of style that I, I normally sell anyway. It's just something to do. I mean, it's a, it's an easy abstract that you can make yourself. Um, if you, you know, let the layers dry and you know, you can you know, make them, sell them or keep them, whatever just something to do but anyway this is what happens you know this is a square painting and this is what happens when you 
don't let your layers dry. So anyway, I'll cut it loose. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good night and uh, or day, whatever you're watching this on. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. Bye.